Hey, how's it, how's it? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I just unboxed the Boss Katana MK2 100 watt amp head. This is not gonna be a, a demo video or a review video. I haven't even unplugged the power. Haven't opened up the manual. Literally just took it out of the box. What this video is about is how I plan to use it. I've not seen anything uh, on the internet about my intention. So I wanna explain what, how I plan to use this and what my expectations are for what I know of this amp head and also the many features that I'm not gonna use. So for those who don't know, several years ago, Boss entered the amp market and put everything on its head. This is a solid state amp. And since the 50s, guitar players have been talking about how tube amps are so much superior. And then as time went on and solid state came on the market, um, the debate continued and people will still continue to insist that tube amps are superior. Uh, my last amp that I had was 10 years ago. It was a Blues Junior 3 tube amp, Fender Blues Junior 3 tube amp. I loved it. Uh, problem with tube amps is, one, they're expensive, two, they're really loud, and three, they're heavy. Um, I haven't used a, I haven't touched an amp probably in 10 years. I you run everything through my mixing board, uh, I have multiple, you know, I think I have 12 inputs. All my instruments are plugged into the mixing board. I uh, use an audio interface to go out to my computer where I record everything on GarageBand and I listen through headphones. Uh, I use that because pre-code, my friends would come over, we'd all plug into the board. We get a uniform mix, uh, set up various mics and off we go. Uh, if I want to blow some air around, I have a, a a Behringer PA. I can run a line out from the mixer into the PA and we've had pre-COVID I've had parties where we all sing and play music and it's great for outdoor uh, parties and whatnot. 99% of the time though it's all silent. You know I can play at midnight, play an electric guitar and all you hear externally is tinka 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 but in my headphones it's you know I'm, I'm Santana, I'm a guitar guy. Um, so the Katana is a solid state amp, as I said. One of the other uh, problems with a tube amp is it has to be plugged into a speaker. There has to be a load on the tube head or else it'll blow up, literally. Uh, modern day, they've designed boxes that you can plug in to simulate a load so you don't damage your amp. But the, the tube amp itself is still very heavy and you have to pay the extra expense for uh, to take the load off. This weighs just under 20 pounds and it's, it's still pretty hefty. Okay, so um, let me tell you the things that I'm not gonna use. That's the power. Don't need a speaker output. I admire people who can do wonderful things with MIDI. It's not my thing. USB, this is, I believe this is for, um, you can access 60 of Boss's most popular pedals, except it requires you go through, I, I, I'll probably fiddle around with this at some point, but I don't like doing things digital that you have to move sliders around on your computer um there's a foot switch external foot switch, foot switch that you have to buy i'm not even sure what that's about one thing i can figure out for now is that if you have two boss cantanas you can use the foot switch to switch between two of them or run them in stereo other than i'm not quite sure um they have a headphone out which is cool most uh, most amps that are 100 watts don't come with a, a headphone. 
and then FX loop. Here's the line out. FX loop. Um, I've had mixed results with the FX loops. Um, I'll, I'll get into that later. Okay. So my plan is to use my, um, my pedal board. My guitars go into my uh, pedal board. They come out and they go into the, the mixer. After the pedal board though, the signal chain is gonna go into the input and then it'll go out to the line out. But in between you have five different amp settings. Clean, crunch, I'm sorry, acoustic, clean, crunch, lead, and brown. Uh, most of the reviews I've seen, uh, they just point to the acoustic and say, and you can plug in an acoustic electric guitar here, and then they play a couple chords on the clean, and then they just immediately go into like uh, Marshall stack, shredder, power chord, heavy metal mode. So, um, I'm really probably going to emphasize on the first three. Um, I did see a video, well there's a couple of videos where they just focus on acoustic um, and I'm really interested in plugging in my brand new Fender Acoustasonic Jazzmaster that I just got. So we're already in three weeks into January and I bought a new guitar and a new amp so that may be a personal record for me. Okay so Real interested in acoustic, clean, and crunch. I like the last guitar, the last amp I had was the Fender Blues Junior 3. And I've been chasing that tone for the last 10 years. I like the Fender tone. Um, I use, in my uh, pedal lineup, I use these cheap Fender amp simulators from China. It costs like 30 bucks. The one I have, I have a couple of Joyos. Um, this is a knockoff of the Joyo by a, a company called A Moon. It's called the American Sound. They're identical. Like I said, 30 bucks. Uh, the closest thing I've come since the, the Blues Junior was a uh, Strymon Iridium amp simulator that cost 450 bucks. I have terrible, terrible luck with pedals. In fact, I'll, I'll link to a video I made of my new added towards attitude towards pedals and pedal and pedal boards um i went through the strymon lasted me less than a year and it just fried i sent back to sweetwater they were great they sent me a brand new one immediately it lasted six months and fried it was pretty close to a fender tube um but if it doesn't work it doesn't work so i, I rely i got three of these uh fender knockoffs for, for 30 bucks so they don't advertise this as a Fender, Fender amp sim, but I, that's the sound I'm going for. Three band EQ, built-in reverb. Oh, this is interesting. So they have a, it's a two, it's a hundred watt amp. You have a 50 watt option and then you have a 0.05 watt option, meaning half a watt. And the idea, as far as I can tell, is you buy and plug in an external speaker. And if you're playing in your bedroom, you turn it down to half a watt. You're not going to get complaints from the neighbors. But that seems kind of silly to me. If you're going to go through all that trouble, just plug into the, the headphone out and uh, you know use the 100 watt or 50 watt. Anyway. Um, I'm gonna play around with this for uh, probably a good several weeks, plug all my guitars in. Definitely wanna give my acoustic electrics a workout on it. And then, uh, and then I'll circle back with uh, my thoughts. As usual, I paid uh, full-blown retail for this through um, Sweetwater. Costs $369.99 or 370 bucks. Free shipping to Hawaii, which I always appreciate. Um, way cheaper than the Strymon Iridium Amp Sim. I'm real curious to see here the difference between the 150 watt and the 0.05 watt. 
uh, there's there's a little push buttons on top of the of the effects you get I think it's three different options on each effect um, and so lots of lots of button pushing to be had here I'm probably not going to circle back with my opinions on the 60 uh, boss pedal options oh so part of the reason why I bought this a it instantly the the katana katana is the Japanese sword boss is based in Japan is that you know they came out with this solid state line and people are like solid state and then all of a sudden people were, were gravitating towards it uh, and again it was boss's first foray into amps the other reason I took chance is because uh, you'll see in my my pedal video uh, I really like Behringer pedals I have a whole bunch of them uh, I really like boss pedals I have several of them this is the Super Overdrive SD1. This is a seven band graphic EQ. I have several of these. Um, and when your pedals crap up, you know, my $450 Strymon crapped out. All my expensive pedals have fried. I have one left that is just under $200. I don't even want to say its name because I don't want to, I don't want to botch it. Knock on wood, it's a, it's a preamp. Um, but I like, Boss has never failed me. Behringer has never failed me. My mixer is a Behringer. My PA is a Behringer. Um, so I like Boss. And that's why part of the reason I took a chance on this. It is, I knew it weighed less than 20, 19 pounds and something. But it, it's just solid. It's, it's, it's built like a boat anchor. You could probably tie an, an aircraft carrier up to this and won't move in the ocean. Okay, so I owe you a uh, follow-up video on my thoughts on the Fender Acoustasonic Jazz Master. I have yet to record on it. Um, hopefully I'll do that this weekend. Um, and I'll follow up on, on this guy. Uh, new videos come out every Saturday morning, Hawaii time. Uh, please like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. I appreciate it. Um, and... Let me know what you think about my plan to put this not through an, not plugged into an amp, but go through my directly into my mixing board. I mean, that's why I going through the mixing board. I mean, I'll get into that at a later point, but I, I totally abandoned amps ten years ago and converted to the mixing board uh, into GarageBand to record. I, I recorded a buddy's um, CD just using a simple, inexpensive Behringer mixing board, smaller than this, way smaller than this one, and then went into my garage band. We made a whole CD. Um, and then after messing with audio for a few years, I gravitated towards audio and video through iMovie, my iPhone, and that's what gets posted every Saturday morning. Um, but I've never, I've, I've watched a lot of videos reviews about this. I've read a lot about it online. I've not seen anybody use it the way I want to. If you have experience doing that, please let me know what I should know. But otherwise, I'll get back to you in a little bit after I've given it a good thorough workout. Mahalo. Have a good weekend.